Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. As you know, there is one last trouble at the trouble center that I have yet to do. And the reason why I haven't done it is because, well, you probably seen it by yourself or something, or maybe I said it in some other part. Swab, erase that graffiti. I need someone to go to the 50th floor of the Pit of 100 Trials for me. Shaboom! So I need someone pretty tough. Shablawi! For details, please see me next to the next to Cannon Statue in Far Outpost. Shaboomity! Um, yep, yep, yep. I shall, and let's go over to the Far Outpost. And here we are, Cannon Statue, huh, 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 is it you I'm looking for? You agreed to help me from my trouble, Shaplui. Thank you, uh, thanks to you, Shaboom. There is dungeon under Rogueport called Pit of 100 Trials, Shagow! I heard if one writes wish, wish on wall of 50th floor, then wish comes true, Shapop. Yeah, I used special big explosion to get down to 50th floor and write wish, Shakrack! And then I realized the whole thing was hoax! Shadoop. <laughs> I risked life getting down there for useless graffiti. I want it erased! Shashoom. I would erase it myself, but I don't think I could get down there again. Shakroom, I can't blame you. <laughs> so, could you go to 50th floor, fit a 100 trials, and erase the graffiti? Please! Shablu. Yes, I shall, but hold on. You got anything else to say here? So, you erased my graffiti? Shap. Oh, not yet. Shaboomity! Go to 50th floor, put on 100 trials, and erase graffiti! Please! Shabrak! <laughs> I put hard into it, so it'll be hard to erase. You may have to blow up wall! Please! Sha Shabow! So yeah, you need Bobbery to take care of that. But anyway, yeah, uh, I gotta go to the pit of 100 trials now. But I was coming here anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't really... Uh, matter all that much, you know, because I'm gonna be coming through here to do that trouble, and that's why I waited until now to do said trouble. <laughs> but anyway, before you go into the Pit of 100 Trials, make sure you are completely ready for it, which includes saving your game here. And also, if you're making a walkthrough, make sure you you have a save file copied. So, yeah, <laughs> just to be safe. But anyway, I'm going to go back over through here, and then I'm going to show you uh, what setup I'm going into the Pit of 100 Trials with. Uh, it's not so much a set setup as I was thinking I was going to do, as it is going to be a variable setup. Uh, first, as you see, there's my stats and uh, whatnot. I, I don't have all that much cash, but I was thinking about how much cash I get along the way, and chances are I'll get enough to buy stuff uh, from shops along the way, so I'm not too worried about having low amounts of cash. Um, I'm going to switch party members to heal them up with star moves and whatnot uh, as I go. You know, preferably to conserve as many of these items as I possibly can. Uh, speaking of these items, this is probably overkill. <laughs> <laughs> but I've collected a bunch of stuff here, and yeah, uh, whack -a bumps is for both healing at the same time, you know, HP and flower points. But typically, uh, I'm either low on flower points or I'm low on uh, hit points. And I got a couple life shrooms here just in case I uh, make a mistake or something. But uh, yeah, that's, that's why I didn't combine ultra shrooms with jam and jellies, you know, as a recipe to make a jelly ultra, which recovers both uh, 10 flower points and 10 uh, hit points points in a single turn so yeah it just doesn't seem I don't know cost effective for me <laughs> it's just not how my battles typically go so I think I'm gonna be just fine with this in fact this is probably as I said overkill um, a couple of boo sheets here also to dodge attacks whenever things get really really dicey and that's very possible in the pit of 100 trials so that's why I took uh, three of these bad boys here. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. I'll probably end up using one or two, actually, um, if that. As for my badges, I intended on going in with uh, this setup here. Oh, and I forgot to equip another badge with the four that I have left there. But yeah, the stuff that I have right here is what I intended on going in with and sticking with it for the most part. But I decided to go in uh, with a more dynamic setup by taking a bunch of badges that uh, have all sorts of different properties and basically switching out badges 
as I need to as I go, and that should give me the best chance to uh, survive the pit. In theory. <laughs> By the way, Feeling Fine and Feeling Fine Partner Badges are really good because of all the status effects that can happen. So, uh, yeah, you might want to have that on all the time, actually, regardless of the other uh, badges you have set up. Uh, timing Tutor, I'm going to still keep on, you know, for the sake of the walkthrough. Uh, it only takes one bad point, badge point anyway, so not really that big of a deal. Uh, I'm tempted to use stuff like Flower Savers and because, you know, it's a long pit, but I'm not too positive about that because I, I think I'll be fine with uh, regular attacks and dodges and uh, star power heals for the most part, uh, you know, with what I have equipped right here. So, yeah. Uh, and that appears to be it. Oh, and I'll also switch partners depending on the situation, but, you know, Goombella will be the one out here to do the tattling on the uh, enemies that need tattling. And speaking of tattling, I didn't put this up on uh, the other Pit of 100 Trials parts because I didn't really know about this, but um, enemies have chances of appearing on certain floors. I'm going to put up a little box on the screen here that'll tell you which tattleable enemies uh, can appear on which floors uh, on the floors that we've already seen. And also, speaking of the floors that we had already seen, I'm going to link to the uh, videos in little button thingies here, which will um, take you over to the Pit of 100 Trial floors that I've already completed up to, you know, 50. Um, so, yeah, you'll be able to take a look at them there. But otherwise, I'm just going to go and enter this pipe and see you over at floor 50. And here we are! Floor! Well, level 50! So here's the doodling on the wall here. There's graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish. I wish I want to get married to Bobble Link, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids so that we can start a soccer team. Shablooey! <laughs> this graffiti was scrawled on with a fierce hand. It might never come off. Oh, it's coming off all right. Let's switch to Bobbery here. And explode! Clear. The trouble has been cleared. <laughs> so, you could leave and, you know, go finish off that trouble, but... Are you crazy? We're on level 50! By the way, um, I've been getting by with just Coops. And, um, this set of badges here... This right here, yep, yep, this sort of stuff right here. Not even the charge badge. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not even using the charge badge, I mean, but what I mean is that um, I've got them equipped, but I haven't really needed them. Uh, but yeah, I've got this stuff, and uh, I've got all the items that I started out with because I've been doing a really conservative strategy of uh, using, like, recovering myself with Sweet Treat as well as just wiping out enemies, uh, multiple enemies at one time, uh, using Koops' Power Shell, then recovering with Sweet Treat, as well as using Earth Tremor, uh, and then using... Uh, see, because I have uh, two... Um, where is it, where is it? Two Super Appeal Partner Badges. I've been using the Partners to appeal uh, to get Star Points back, and then using those Star Points to heal with stuff. So I've been able to hold out pretty much indefinitely until this moment in time. Alright, we got a new enemy here, and it is a doozy here. We do not want to mess with this sucker. We just want to tattle it, and we want to finish... Oh, poopers. Well... That's fine. I was going to do a uh, Ultra Hammer, but okay. What we got here is a Badge Bandit. What this thing can do is it can steal the badges that you have and yeah, you'll lose them if it runs away from battle. Uh, I have I didn't read it out. Whoops. Max HP is 12, attack is 5, and defense is 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. And even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Yep. So, uh, you can get the badges back, and if you ever lose when you lose a badge from him, um, you'll be able to rebuy it from the lovely house of badges. I don't know how it ends up there, but... Yeah, you so your badges aren't gone for good. However, the real danger of the badge bandit is that you lose badges on your run. Or you can lose badges on your run. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to run away from the battle. It seems silly, but the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get a different partner out. Because I had to use that turn to tattle. 
uh, basically. So yeah, I, I just did that, and now I'm going. Oh, pfft. now I'm going to try and get him to stop. I'm being really conservative on this run through the pit of 100 trials, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. There we go. Ultra hammer away. And since it has so much freaking HP. Uh, there's the danger of you not being able to defeat it before it runs away. So that's that's uh, a pretty scary enemy there. Anyway, I'm gonna power shell these. Yeah! And it leaves one with four, eight, I mean, leaves a couple with a few HP, but... Now, I have a decision to make. Should I let it attack and potentially steal a badge, uh, and then potentially run away, or should I try and wipe them out? I think I'll be just fine trying to wipe them out one at a time, I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna take out the, the higher HP first, and then... Ugh! No badge. <laughs> and then I was gonna super guard that one, but that's fine, it's it's okay. I'll just use the uh, sweet tree tactic as I explained later on to recover stuff. But. Only use Sweet Treat when you have the opportunity to do so. Okay? Okay. Alright, now. That level is complete, and I've got a new tattle added to my log. Let's move on. <laughs> and what else we got? I'm genuinely nervous, by the way, because <laughs> this is a really difficult place, and you can't save during the middle of it. So, and a, lo and a lot of things can happen that can just completely and utterly ruin a run. So, yeah, I'm just really hoping for the best here. Yes, got it. I should maybe I should have went for an ultra hammer, but I think that was safer than the ultra hammer because of the whole thing. Oh, by the way, the zap tap badge ruins fuzzies completely. By the way, so it's really handy. Um. Let's see, what should I do here? Uh, I'm f I would consider sweet treating, but that guy is, you know, the moon cleft there has got quite a bit of an attack power. So maybe what I'll just do is earth tremor it away. But then again, that seems kind of like a waste, because I might not be able to easily recover star points. Ah, uh, can I just like nick it with the normal hammer? <laughs> Maybe. I can't jump on it, but I don't think that's gonna get through its defenses. Yeah, it's got five defense points, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> let's... I guess... I don't think this is gonna do anything. So it's just gonna... Yeah, it's gonna burn a turn more than anything. Woo! And I'm gonna super guard that, because they're really easy to super guard. Uh, but yeah, I'm really considering using the Earth Tremor just because of the whole... well, you know what I could do, actually, is switch to Vivian, and then have her do a Shade Fist, because doesn't this penetrate the fences? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should have tried Bobbery. Eee! Oh, wait, why didn't I Super Guard? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, let's try someone else. I guess I kind of forgot the attributes of my partners. Mmm... <laughs> There we go. Well, that just did enough damage to... It didn't really, um, stop... Uh, well, that would have been nice if I recovered HP. But that didn't really, um, pierce the fence. All it did was flip it over. Which is... which is good, actually. Because it dropped its defense points. Okay. And I'm gonna try and work in a, uh, sweet treat. Like, maybe what I'll do is, uh, do a sweet treat, then run from the battle. And then, uh... You know, just continue on for, and then run and then do the battle as normal. We're gonna see how things go, I guess. Uh, let's see, let's get. Because uh, that's a flying enemy. Flying enemies kind of have some issues. <laughs> let's see, I guess I'll leave him out. Let's try and ultra hammer it. And come on, get closer. <laughs> gonna teleport. I'm ready for you. Oh my god! Chomp of Doom! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, e. Maybe I should try another Ultra Hammer here. There we go. That takes out all but that one boo, which means that I should be able to do stuff. You know, like recover. Uh, although maybe not, because it can cause all sorts of issues, you know, just that one dark boo. But at the same time, I definitely do want to recover, so maybe what I'll do here is just defend, and then see what it does. Eh! Oh, I didn't guard properly, dang it! Kind of a waste there, but okay, sweet treats! 
I'm trying to conserve items as much as possible, but, you know, like I said when I entered this place, doing these sorts of stuff is probably overkill. But, you know, this is the walkthrough part, and I would like to be as careful as possible, because it's not like I can easily get back here whenever I want to. <laughs> I hope you understand that. Because <laughs> there's no save points along the way. Okay, let's appeal now, and this is going to recover an entire star point. So, I'll be able to... Oh, it's going to go invisible. Yeah, I thought so I thought, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Because all I'm going to do is do another sweet treat. Uh, it's just a matter of strategy, really. But the whole game, really, is a matter of strategy, if you think about it. But, uh, this is like big time... Ah, big time strategy in the Pit of 100 Trials, because it's long, it's hard... Don't do that joke, no, don't, stop, stop, get off your keyboard, don't you dare do that joke. <laughs> Alright, and... Appeal. Woo! And now we wait for it to do something. Oh, okay, it's back to normal. Alright, now everything's recovered, and I can continue going. And that's basically what I've been doing this whole time, is, uh setting myself up to be in a position where I can just recover everything. Uh, but, you know, I'll eventually get to the point where the enemies get so difficult that I won't be able to do that very easily. But, you know, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> uh, I'll probably have to use items when I get to that point, but yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, what's your range? Your range is there, huh? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah! <laughs> How do you like those apples? couple of ice puffs as well, but uh, yeah, it's not going to affect them because that Ultra Hammer knocks enemies around on the, on the ground. Uh, well, now it's going to affect them, but still, at this moment in time, there's, you know, the ice puffs and they're kind of a pain. <laughs> I wonder if I should, like, bob on bass them? Maybe? But I think I'm going to just normal hammer this one first. Yeah, and then see what I should be doing. Oh! Wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> Alright, let's... Bomb... Ah! Yeah, let's see how it goes. Ah! I'm trying to super guard, but I shouldn't be doing that. Because I have those um, badges on to reduce damage if I normal guard. So, yeah. Alright, so let's... Swipe out one. Divide and conquer. There we go. And I hope the other one doesn't do its power-up thing. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, because it's in the air. Poopers. How about we, instead, we... Swap to... well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just... defend. <laughs> ah! Yeah, see, I got the badges on, that really helps uh, conserve damage and whatnot. Uh, I wonder if I should... Because uh, I'm not really in a very dangerous spot here with just one puff. I wonder if I should recover their HP with... Uh, um, a sweet treat. Yeah, I know I'm doing a lot of thinking here, but this is the pit of 100 trials we're talking about here. Uh, yeah, it was kind of suicided itself there. Oh, whatever. It's fine. I'm not really in any danger. I'm just trying to play as conservative as humanly possible. <laughs> we are on floor 54. I'm going to try not to skip floors here, because I don't want to miss any uh, special enemies or anything like that, you know, that I have to tattle. So, yeah. There. I'm just gonna kind of give you the run around here until I can charge up a ultra hammer. Up, uh, up! Uh! <laughs> well, that totally failed. Eh. Uh, wow. Enemies getting kind of dangerous here. <laughs> How about Bob on Bast? Because this does the thing of flipping over the clefts. And uh, yeah, that's it's pretty nice to do. And what I'm gonna do here is, uh. Hmm. Hmm. How about I do a multi bounce? Bloop! 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 Not gonna do anything to the chomp, of course. But the chomp is probably, in all honesty, the uh, uh, least threatening thing here, I guess you could say. Alright, let's sweet treat. Uh, I know I'm gonna. I'm not gonna really gain HP because when that chomp attacks, I'm not gonna, you know, be able to. Uh, evade that unless I super guard it, which I could try, I guess, but eh, I don't know. It just seems... I don't know, it's not my style. <laughs> it's not, not in the planning, I guess you could say. There we go. 
And, uh... Hmm... I guess I'll just wipe it out with, uh, Bobbery here. Oh, shoot! I failed. <laughs> I mashed the button... Ah! I got it! <laughs> I mashed the button too quickly and I, I lost the, the hold for it. Because I just, like, tapped it and I got off the button immediately. That was my own fault, but okay. It's fine, everything worked out just fine. Alright. Going down. Further down. Just keeps going down. Oh, God, Badge Bandit! Yeah. Oh, why the Ultra Hammer? <laughs> Lots of Badge Bandits, that's not pretty. Okay, let's try this again, except we are going to run... You know, start the battle over and then try and get an Ultra Hammer off. By the way, if you didn't realize, like, you get a lot of coins going through the Pit of 100 Trials, but it's not the most practical way to get coins for obvious reasons. There we go. Woo! And here we go. Let's weaken the HP. And now... Uh, let's... Armal Hammer. Because Bobbery does quite a bit of damage, so she should be able to take out one of the Badge Bandits on his own. Wait, actually, no, he does 8 damage. Yeah, oh, 6 damage. Oh, wait, mm. Well, that's still not gonna really... Ah! That, by the way, that Zap Tap Badge helps to prevent them from stealing stuff from you, too, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I failed to guard that, and that's not good. <sighs> Gotta be conservative. Gotta take them out as carefully as possible. Mm. Blah. Mm. Oh. Okay. Ah. Mm. Still failed at it. Okay, so let's let's just let it suicide and do a <laughs> sweet treat here. It's all about the strategy. It's all about the strategy. <laughs> whoa, 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 that was close. Two, two of those icons are really close together, and one was a poison mushroom. Ah! Aww! I just nicked it when it was coming on screen. Didn't have time to react to it. Alright, there we go. Not bad. So how do you like that for a strategy to get through the pit of 100 trials? Overkill, you say? Yeah! <laughs> I just like, been, like saying overkill lately because of my strategies for this place. I don't know. Woo! By the way, I've also been building up audience members, in case you didn't realize that, through uh, successful battles and whatnot. Uh, what am I on? 56. Okay. So there's going to be a couple more floors before I uh, end off the part. I'm going to do 10 floors per part, like I've been doing, and then uh, see how that goes. Oh, wait, wait, oh, shoot! Mm. And see, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to have enough camera battery for it, so I'm going to have to charge, like, after the 80th floor or something like that. At least that's what I estimate. Um, okay, I'm gonna run. <laughs> gonna kind of lose some audience members, you know, and that... Oh, shoot! That's bad! Uh, it's, it's gonna lose some audience members, but, you know, I'll be able to set up the battle a little bit better. There we go. Just like, I was like a notch off. See, there's, there's all sorts of stuff that can happen on the Pit of 100 Trials that just completely foils the run. And even so, I, I might not be guaranteed to get... Ah, oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I won't be guaranteed to get the first strike on this either. But uh, I managed it. Yeah, let's wipe it out. Well, you know, it's not going to be wiped out after one shot. But what I am going to do here is be able to knock it out on the second shot. And then I'm going to flip over the cleft with a bomb. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I know that would work. Woo! Ah! And now it's not going to do anything this turn because it's stunned. Well, flipped over. And there we go. Conservation! Woo! Oh, yeah. And now we move on to another floor. With the groove on. I don't know why I'm bothering to check the sign at the upper left corner of, of certain floors. I mean, if you think about it, you know, you'll be able to tell every 10 floors when you reach it because there's a prize after every 10 floors. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck I'm even checking the signs for. It's not like I'm. Oopsie. It's not like I'm going to, uh, you know, leave the place or anything like that. Alright, so. I could probably get away with. Uh, just doing some regular attacks on these bad boys. Just as long as we divide and conquer a little bit here. Here... Wah! Woo! I 
another strategy that you could do is to use uh, Sweet Feast to recover stuff. Ah, fork! Ah. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Lucky Badge! Ah! <laughs> okay, now let's... Actually, um... Hmm, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna do a bomb on you. And then what I'm gonna do is wipe out the chomp with... Uh, hmm... Hmm, actually... Ah, I'm thinking way too much, aren't I? Let's... Hmm, <laughs> sweet treat. This could either be a good idea or a bad idea, I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably... Ah, shoot, well there, there's all three poison mushrooms, and I heard that, uh... Um, when, there, when you see three poison mushrooms on this, you just keep mashing it because there aren't any more, and they were all right by the start, so... Yeah... Oop, oh, I lost a... One after that, but whatever. That's not bad. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. Mm, yeah! <laughs> Super guard. And it's bomb. And then I'm going to hammer it on my next turn, I think. Woo! Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I took off the uh, uh, timing tutor badge. Uh, because I wanted to have the extra badge points for uh, um, one of the charge badges as I was switching stuff around. I... In all honesty, don't really think you need the Timing Tutor badge at this moment in time, even though it is for the walkthrough and all, but, you know, it is sort of kind of nice to see the visual cues every so often. Uh, but I... it's not... Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Okay, where is where is its attack range? Okay, it's up to here, so I can... <laughs> there I go! But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I got the timing of the attack down well enough that I don't need the Timing Tutor badge. All that, yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you don't need it either. Okay. Let's normal hammer. Because it'll do three damage. Because, you know, it's got three defense. And we're gonna bomb this one here. And then appeal. Oh! Failed. Ah! I'm getting greedy with the super guards now. Uh, hmm, you know what I should do, actually? Hold on. Sweet treat. Just to get Mario's HP up, and then bomb the last one with Bobbery. In theory, I'll be able to uh, wipe it out on the next turn, unless I mash through it with the A button again and fail on it, but... You know, that's... It's a... I guess you could say risk-reward of the Pit of 100 Trials, but chances are... It's not much of a risk. Because <laughs> all I have to do is hold the A button uh, once the, you know, thing comes up. Right, so I'm gonna attack, bomb, and... There we go. I got it. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! And there we go. And I could recover Mario's HP a little bit, but it's not... not that big of a deal. Oh! I got some hearts. By the way, hearts recover both you and your partner, so that is win-win. Well, you know, recover you and your partner by one HP, so it's win-win. Oh yeah! Reach floor number 60! And our prize? The Double Dip Badge! We kind of already got one of these. <laughs> but yeah, we are on level 60. So, that's 10 floors. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I do floors 61 through 70.